Okay guys, I've got a great one for you today. I'm happy to finally get this thing produced. If you wonder where I've been, I can assure you I have not been sitting on my hands. So I got to the point where I was gonna install my own Dakota Digital in my car, as, I was, as you guys know, following my project. So that triggered an idea that nobody actually makes a plug and play kit. So the OEMs back in the day, they didn't really need to make these connectors because the back of the cluster harnesses all had uh, female inserts into the back of them, obviously to save on production costs. So now we're coming along, everybody wants to install aftermarket gauges now to update and modernize their resto mods. And as a result, uh, you end up having to do this. You're either gonna have to either deep pin these or you're gonna have to end up with a mess like this spliced behind there. And if any of you guys who've already done this, you know there's not a lot of wire that sticks out behind that dash. There's not a lot of working room behind there. So um, basically I work in the industry, uh, used some connections that I had and, and got some mentoring and actually got these all the way through to production. So I formed a company. It's called New Rad Solutions. Uh, make sure to follow both here and there because some of the videos, that's obviously more of a company style and more corporatized. I'll be doing install videos. Just make sure you subscribe to both because sometimes I'll have content that might be slightly different, showing a little bit of behind the scenes. But I'm gonna give you the, the quick and dirty here. Uh, so just to show you what's been going on. So I make a full install kit. Um, it basically, it starts with the wire and loom. Um, actually with the connectors, these are the ones that are actually connected. Uh, it shows you what it looks like. Uh, it's basically plug and play. You don't have to do any splicing whatsoever. Uh, you snap it in, I give you the wire, the loam, uh, all the pieces that you need. I give you a wiring kit for GPS power and ground. Uh, and then I also give you hardware for mounting the boxes. In this case, I'm showing a Dakota Digital, but really this is meant for uh, either option. Uh, say if you wanna do autometer, uh, Intellitronics, Holly, any kind of other install, this is really meant to be, um, give you an option. This is meant to give you an option so that you don't have to hack into your harness. And so like for the resistors that you have to tap in behind here, uh, you cut into my harness, not yours. And then what I did for you, uh, Autometer and Holly guys, is I came up with a short version of this. It's all the same hardware. And yes, there is loam that comes with this. The wires are labeled. Uh, and you can see there's a very nice finish. So I did want to go with high quality. So that was very important to me to release this. So I think, you know, I've had tremendous feedback. I've been in a couple shows. Uh, so now I'm going to be at uh, Motor City Fox Fest. Uh, I got the show coming up in Carlisle. And then I have several more shows. Obviously, I'll be at uh, Foxtoberfest. So wouldn't miss that. Uh, so basically, I just wanted to get this out there. Um, check it out. I do have my website. Uh, www.newradsolutions.com obviously you can follow here as well as there um, i'll give you more tips and tricks uh, that have actually got more product coming uh, what i can do is i'll give you a little bit of a teaser so i started with the fox body 79 to 93 mustangs this kit can actually work even as it sits today can actually do more than the fox body uh, so my kit can be used in 87 to 91, F-150, uh, the OJ Bronco, etc. It can be used in things like there's some, there's some years for the old Explorer, it can be used, etc. So just make sure, you know, keep up to date on the website for guys that have like old body style uh, Fords. So a lot of us have more than one vehicle. So I'm going to be serving the GM, Dodge, and Jeep market as well. I actually, not only do I have, basically they're in production right now, so... I'm hoping to be at Truck Nationals uh, to cover the square body and OBS or old body style uh, Fords, the trucks, um, and got a whole product line coming out. So anyways, um, it's been an adventure. I can't wait to get back onto my car. <laughs> it's been so frustrating not being able to work on it, but getting the business off the ground. Uh, it's been quite a journey and it's kind of neat to be actually working with vendors now uh anderson ford motorsports is already carrying it um and then you know obviously i'm working with others um so this is you know it's been, it's been kind of a, a dream almost to be able to take something like a hobby that i really enjoy and actually be able to start making something and kind of giving back but also you know turning my hobby you know into somewhat of a business and please make sure you like and subscribe follow along uh, i will be adding more than just the uh 
actual install kits. I'm going to have some hardware and some wiring things that I'll be offering as well as eventually I'll get some merchandise in there. So uh, it continues to grow. Uh, like I said, please, I appreciate any like and subscribe. You know, it definitely helps me out as I grow and then hopefully you guys can grow with me. And with that, I'm going to check out on this video and you'll be seeing some more content coming out in the coming days. Thanks for watching.